I've been using these ring feeders for a few years now, and I'll be honest, I really don't like them, and you can kind of see why. They prevent some waste, but really you end up with, uh, I mean, you end up with a lot of waste. I would leave that and let them work on it, and I'm not going to pick it up, but it's, uh, we got a storm coming in that may be, maybe six inches of snow, maybe eight, maybe ten, and I don't want them to have to root through ten inches of snow to find that, even if this does end up really being a little more wasteful you gotta eat right budro right i really want one of those hay huts or bale barns or whatever they call them the little plastic sheds that you can put over the the round bales those are cool I know. I want to keep as much of the hay in the same place as I can. So well, that's really good grass. set over that other stuff though I was going to stand it up on end but that's just going to make a mess let's be honest leaving it like it is is going to be a mess I got to do something about this this thing has served valiantly for six years, seven years. Yeah, this thing might really be about seven years old, six or seven. It's a little bent in places, but it works, sort of. I don't know that I'd say it works well, but better than nothing. I'm gonna have to lift this side. I know, Brad. Ain't even got started and I got a mess. And I know a lot of guys are gonna say, I should pick the bale up and drop it in the ring and that would work better and you're right but I didn't do it that way so here we are what you're not sure about that hey go to your bale leave my net wrap alone Hi. You get the expensive part. The wrapping paper goes with me. Spend a bunch of time, bunch of energy, making the cab of the loader nice. So I can stuff it full of old net wrap. Oh well. It's gonna be nice, but I bought it to use. 
So we're gonna use it. Man, I wish I had a door. 